Now, suppose our civilization were destroyed and our cities laid completely in waste. Suppose in 20,000 years an archaeologist from another society were poking around the ruins of your city and, and could dig up but just one penny. Well, he'd know this about us. Now, the coin is made of a blend of metals, and, and that would tell him we were, we were miners and, and knew the science of metallurgy. And by the shape of the coin, a perfect circle, he'd know that we understood geometry. And the wheat on the back of the coin would tell him that we had been a great agricultural country. He'd know that we'd considered our fine crops a major source of our wealth. And the date on the face of the coin would tell him that we had understood arithmetic and, and we had a calendar. Ah, yes, the portrait of Abe Lincoln. That would mark us as artists who had an advanced culture. And then the words, United States, would let him know we were a federated group of local communities bound together by a strong central government. And the phrase, e pluribus unum, that would tell him we were scholars who knew foreign languages. And the word liberty, right on the face of the penny, would let the archaeologist know that our country sought to guarantee freedom for every man. And finally that phrase, in God we trust. Well, it would tell him we had had a moral law. It would let him know that we'd grown strong and mighty under God's great hand. And then considering the penny, he might very well ask, why in the world did they ever go astray? If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, humble themselves and pray. If my people, And turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from him. Then will I hear from him. Then will I hear and will forgive. people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and, and, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear them from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7, 14. Amen. Amen. 